People have used apple cider vinegar as a natural remedy for many years because it's extremely versatile. It can be used to treat blood sugar problems, it can lower cholesterol, and it can also treat athlete's foot, a very annoying condition that affects thousands of people every year. We're pretty rough on our feet. They can stay neglected for long periods of time, especially during the colder months when they're always covered by socks and shoes. However, it's important that we take the necessary precautions so that our feet and toenails stay in good shape. Apple cider vinegar can help with that. Normally, when people use it to treat foot or toenail problems, it involves soaking. Take a look at six different ways that apple cider vinegar can keep your feet and toenails healthy and happy. Athlete's foot. This common fungus that appears on the feet and hands causes rashes that often itch and burn. It can also make the skin peel and flake. Normally, it's found in between the toes, but can spread to the nails, heels, and sadly enough, the hands. But apple cider vinegar has what it takes to fight athlete's foot. Its antifungal, antiseptic, and antimicrobial properties help it do several things for our sock-covered toes. It relieves the pain and irritation caused by the fungus that leads to athlete's foot. It also balances the pH levels and reduces swelling. Simply soak your feet in one half a cup of apple cider vinegar along with two tablespoons of Epsom salt and some water for 10 minutes a day. Fatigue, aches, and pains. By soaking your feet in apple cider vinegar, you can soothe swollen, tired, and overworked feet. Since it has anti-inflammatory properties, for those who are constantly on the go, it can be a lifesaver. Just add one part apple cider vinegar to two parts water and a few tablespoons of Epsom salt in a wash basin. Soak your feet for about 30 minutes to take full advantage of all of the benefits of this home remedy. Foot odor. Not only does apple cider vinegar reduce swelling, it is also a powerful disinfectant. It's able to kill the bacteria that leads to smelly feet. Again, mix one part apple cider vinegar to two parts water and soak for 20 to 30 minutes. After doing this every day for two weeks, you'll no longer need to worry about that strange odor when you take your shoes and socks off at the end of a long day at work. Dry skin and calluses. While some people suffer from athlete's foot and others suffer from smelly feet, some people's feet get tough and leathery over time. Apple cider vinegar softens the skin of the feet and combats calluses, heel fissures, and corns. Simply applying this potent vinegar to the affected areas will moisten these patches. However, you could also use the above recipes for soaking your feet. If you want to apply the apple cider vinegar to the specific areas, we recommend taping a cotton ball that's been soaked in the vinegar to the rough patch, corn, or callus. Just remember not to let the cotton ball come in contact with the healthy area. The acid may irritate the unaffected part of your foot. Sleep with the cotton ball applied and then remove it and exfoliate the next morning. Toenail fungus. Yellow cracked toenails can be embarrassing and unsightly. Apple cider vinegar helps kill the bacteria and keep the toenail clean. If you want to keep your other toenails from getting infected and maybe get rid of the infection altogether, mix one part apple cider vinegar with one part water and soak for 30 minutes a day for two weeks. You'll be amazed at the results if you don't have a severe case of toenail fungus. Planter warts. Apple cider vinegar not only treats calluses, corns, toenail fungus, and heel fissures, it also works wonders on the stubborn plantar wart. Soaking or direct application is recommended. Consistency is important. Keep up the treatment until the wart has been removed. Get only the best organic apple cider vinegar with the mother for best results. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.